Is this thing on? This is a disclaimer. My channel and the entire catalogue of my videos have not been made for children. They are unsuitable for children. Thank you. Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. And you are very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. Hello, welcome back to Big Mouth. And you can continue this and any other conversation I ignite over on my Twitter at Movies TV Mad, over on my Vero at Big Mouth One, and the extension to this channel is my Instagram, Big Mouth. And welcome the big promo, the big push until the release date of The Rise of Skywalker has really started today on Monday from Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, Disney. The big push is here. They've done interviews today. Two videos have dropped. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, show you an actual scene from The Rise of Skywalker because I think it is here on YouTube as well. Um, but also, when I woke up this morning, they dropped this. Now, there's no clips here, but this is perfect to get your blood pumping and your emotions ready for The Rise of Skywalker. is none other than Star Wars Jedi K. Run from Star Wars Frenzy. The very first time I saw the word Star Wars. 217 Tech 9. Yeah. 3, 2, 1, action. I was 11 years old. It was in a magazine. And I remember seeing the words and saying aloud. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Have you even seen Star Wars? She's never seen Star Wars. You said not to go see Star Wars. Star Wars is just an important part of everyone's history. Scientism actually. I sat outside the theater to watch them at midnight with my dad. It was designed to fire the imaginations of every girl or boy who yearns for adventure. People's love for it. It's just massive. Star Wars is a milestone for people. The Force is with us. I gotta get to Star Wars. You're more than just fans. You're family. Wow, I tell you what, I wanted to cry. I really did. It was very, very emotional. I think Disney have hit the spot with this little promo. Um, and they've done similar things for The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, Rogue One. I think it works. I think when I saw this today, I said, oh, great. They're trying to, you know, pull those heartstrings. But it works. It really does freaking work. Um, I really enjoyed that. The question I was thinking, though, when we saw those old clips and people talking so passionately and emotionally about Star Wars, does Star Wars mean the same today as it did when we were kids? And I would definitely um, categorically say no. I would say yes. If this was the build-up to The Force Awakens, we were all so pumped. JJ was on the money. Um, the, the marketing by Disney. We haven't seen a Star Wars film for so long. It was so exciting. But then The Last Jedi happened, and some of us were angry, some of us were spitting fire, and some of us, after it, was so underwhelmed. 
We wasn't interested that much in Star Wars. You're looking at him. The Last Jedi was the film that just kind of said, I don't think I'll, I, I want to watch a Star Wars film for a while. And that's a shame because The Force Awakens inspired us, right? And The Last Jedi underwhelmed us. And that's the big problem for me and where The Last Jedi is concerned. But I'm starting to be inspired again. I'm kind of bored of talking about The Last Jedi all the time and spitting fire about it. It's done. JJ is back. I am convinced he's going to finish this thing off the right way. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Are you pumped for the rise of Skywalker? I'm not done yet. Yes, I'm back. Yes, I found this. This is kind of a scene. This isn't a clip. We've seen TV spots. We've seen a couple of trailers, but this is a sequence, an actual sequence of the rise of Skywalker. Yes, I'm not flashy. It's all basic here. You're going to have to make out what you can, but you've already seen it already. You're just here to watch me react and talk about it. I have seen this, by the way, but we're going to watch it together again because I'm just so excited. that You know, the big push for the rise of Skywalker has started. There's something so special and ex exciting uh, for, the, for the push and the build-up for a, a, a Star Wars film, like that, like it is before a Superman film. This is the kind of memories I remember as a kid. Let's take a look at this and see what they've given us. They fly now. now. Uh, hang, hang on. Yeah, they fly now. They fly now. They've got rockets. So basically, we couldn't see that prop properly. It was shit. That's my fault. It's my equipment's fault. It's just a basic Lenovo tablet. I, I'm not, I'm not a, a professional YouTuber, and I apologise about that. I hope my personality makes up for that. But anyway, right, so basically, they, they found them. The store trooper says, there's the fugitives. Get them. They start shooting at each other. And then we see the stormtroopers have got some kind of rockets behind them, and they can now fly. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Haven't we seen that before? in one of the animated series, The Clone Wars, or, 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 or the other one that was on just recently. Am I wrong? Have we seen that before? Anyway, they can fly now, and that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I love John Williams' music. It's very classic John Williams. Um, how he can kind of compose anything at his age, the man is amazing. But one of those things, it's sad that George Lucas wasn't able to complete these nine episodes himself, but... John Williams has been there since 1977, which is pretty awesome. As you can see, I'm very, very excited. You can find hundreds of channels who are going to spew anger, negativity and nonsense about Star Wars. But I am excited for this. I trust J.J. Abrams. I remember first watching Alias, one of the, the first pieces of content from J.J. Abrams I ever saw. I trust him. He's a genius. He knows what he's doing. I, and by the way, all this crap about hating him over the lens flares, can I just say, why? I never hated them. I never liked them. They're just there. There was actually another show called Saving Hope. Nothing to do with JJ. And they used to do the lens flares as well. I think it's a neat little look. I don't know what. Anyway, I just thought I'd um, add that in. But I want to know in the comments down below, do you rate that scene? Because I'm sure you've seen it online already. And what do you think about the other promo, the first promo I showed you as well? Does it tug along those heartstrings, or don't you have a heart? Probably, if you're a member of the fandom menace, you probably don't have a heart anyway. But I think it's an exciting time. It's a build-up for a Star Wars film, and I can't wait when I'm over in the UK to finally be able to see it. It's Star Wars, man. What's the problem? <laughs>